Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to install PC Linux OS KDE full desktop. So there is some issue with the live CD and the installer of PC Linux OS. It does not work properly in GNOME boxes. So I had to install this virtual machine manager and we are going to install the KDE desktop uh, virtual machine for PC Linux OS in virtual machine manager and not in GNOME boxes like every time we do. So let us start. The installer for PC Linux OS is totally different from any other Linux store. That's why I thought I will show you how the installation process takes place in PC Linux OS. Now we have to choose the ISO. So I have already kept the ISO in the home directory. It does not work in any other partition. So I have to copy the PC Linux OS KD ISO in the home directory. If you keep it in any other uh, partition like media, it will not work. So I have kept it here. Now here you have to select the you have to select the generic uh, Linux to 2020. Now you have to go forward. Allocate 4 GB of RAM and you can allocate uh, 4 CPUs. I got a uh, 12 uh, CPUs in on my PC. So I can easily all allocate around 4 CPUs for the virtual machine. 25 GB is uh, good, but we can allocate more. Say so let us go for the 30 GB. Let us see what happens. Enable storage for this virtual machine. Create a disk image for the virtual machine so that we are allocated. Now you have to go forward. So this is Q, uh, QCOW2 that is a dedicated uh, virtual VDD for the this virtual machine. So every virtual machine will have a dedicated uh, space on the hard disk. And there is another way in virtual machine. So you can allocate a big pool and out of the pool you can allocate slices of uh, whatever uh, memory you want for each of the virtual machine. So I have gone for the individual uh, uh, memory. So every virtual machine have its dedicated VDD. I have not gone for a pool VDD. Now you have to and in the network selection do it virtual network default that is NAT inactive or you can bridge device or Mac VTAP device. So I have gone for the first option. Let us finish this. Would you like to start the network now? Yes. So first the virtual hard disk will be allocated. It will create a domain for the machine. So now the installer has started. First the splash screen will come up. So you, here you can see it is very slow. It was even slower in the GNOME boxes. So that's why I have chosen to install the virtual machine in uh, virtual machine manager. Otherwise in GNOME boxes it could not boot into the live CD. Okay, now we have booted from the ISO. Let us go with the live CD option.
ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू डू सर्टेन ऑप्शन दैट नीड टू बी चूजन सो वी विल चूज द यूएस की बोर्ड हिट द नेक्स्ट बटन सो दिस इज द लॉग इन स्क्रीन फॉर द लाइव डेस्कटॉप वील जस्ट एंटर प्रेस एंटर और वी हैव टू जस्ट सिलेक्ट द गेस्ट यस इट इज वर्किंग सो सिलेक्शन ऑफ गेस्ट विल वर्क एंड वी विल लॉग इन टू द लाइव के डी डेस्कटॉप ऑफ पी सी लिनक्स ओ एस दिस बुटिंग ऑफ दिस लाइव सी डी इज क्वाइट एट्रोशियस इवन सिलेक्शन द ऑप्शन दैट आर अवेलेबल बिफोर वी बुट इन टू दिस लाइव सी डीज आर ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी स्लो इट इज नॉट प्रैक्टिकल इट टेक्स वन टू टू मिनिट्स फॉर एवरी ऑप्शन टू बी चोजन एंड देन द ऑप्शन गेट्स एग्जीक्यूटेड आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो दिस डेवलपर्स ऑफ पी सी लिनक्स ओएस शुड लुक इन टू द मैटर दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल यू सी एनी अदर लिनक्स डिस्टो डजेंट टेक दिस लॉन्ग सो आई ट्राइड फॉर दिस ऑन द गिनो बॉक्स इज आई टोल्ड एज एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ऑल्सो इट डिड नॉट वर्क ऑन गिनो बॉक्स इज एट ऑल इट टूक मोर दैन ट्वेंटी थर्टी मिनिट्स टू चूज अ ऑप्शन एंड टू बूट इन टू दैट ऑप्शन और टू एक्जीक्यूट द ऑप्शन ऑन द स्प्लैश स्क्रीन so i had to change over to virtual machine manager so here at least it is working in half the time so now let us directly start the installation process so drag live install is the installer so this is very unique installer not like uh, in any other linux distro that's why i had i have done this uh, installation video because users must Uh, know what is there in store for them when they select PC Linux OS to be installed on their system. So now you have to select yes. So this is very uh, good installer. It it uh, it is looking very different. Also, it offers lot of options for the installation. So we will go with the custom disk partition. So disk partition is also very different from any other Linux distro. So for the boot sector, you have to choose other. and then you have to choose the size so we'll go with around 800 50 mb will be good enough we will select uh, fat32 mount point will be boot or boot efi we will go with boot it will work or we can go with boot efi also but uh, for the virtual uh, hard disk boot is better okay for this okay so boot will not work with fat32 for that you have to use the boot efi okay so the boot partition is now created now you have to select the empty space first then you go for the swap swap also 4 gb is uh, 3.9 is good as good as 4 gb so you have to say yes again select the free space then you go for the extended 4 so the options here are not uh, many let us check out in other so here it you, it will give you lot of options so you can go with butterfs file to file extended 3 4 linux native journalized uh, file system journalized uh, jfs xfs lot many ntfs also also their linux raid is their linux lvm is there so what i will do is let us go with so uh, yes let us go with the journalized file system extended 4 and we select full size of the that is the remaining free space uh, yes now we have yes one thing was pending you have to specify the mount point that is done now so the partitioning has been done now to you have to accept the changes the partition table of drive vd is going to be written to the disk yes press next to format the selected partitions so you have to press next so the partitioning is going on
now this drag live see this drag word i am now trying to remember this i think this drag was very common name in the mandrag os so all the system utilities used to have this drag name either as a prefix or a suffix so i think they have uh, used the installer from the mandrag os that is uh, that was available years back in my college time i used to use the mandrag os which was i think number 3 in the uh, rankings as my desktop and in the uh, college we used to use the red hat linux so now the bootloader to use grub to with graphical menu or you can go with the text menu so i will go with the graphical menu and boot device is of course your virtual hard disk delay before uh, booting the default image 10 seconds there is also advanced setting so you can enable or disable acpi you can enable dis uh, disable smp that is symmetric multi processing you can enable epic and you can enable local epic so i will keep all the options now select next so the default will be pc linux os with kernel 5.18.11 pc los 1 and there will be a recovery mode as a option and the append is the options that we are passing so it will be a quiet slash and it will also probe the foreign os that will that is the os prober will be activated in advanced options you can have a video uh, select the bootloader configuration video mode so you can select the video mode i think there will be some options available so depending on your uh, available system resolution you can select any one of this and now you have to select finish so the system installation it, itself did not took very much lo uh, long time it is uh, quite good but uh, the initial selection of the options to install that is very difficult so you have to choose between the live cd live cd with uh, no mode uh, no mode setting with mode setting all those options it took a hell lot of time to cycle through them and also it is uh, not responsive the screen is totally unresponsive once the installer starts everything is breeze it is working perfectly there is no issue so now we have completed the installation of uh, pc linux os i will stop the video here in the next video we will check out the uh, pc linux os full kde desktop or the normal kde desktop as per their uh, specification and after that we will check out all the desktops i will not do any installation video this was the one and the only installation video you have got the idea how the drake install works that is the installer of pc linux os see you in the next video bye